today's video, we're going to be checking out the Pixel Pals number 20. This is Super Mario World Mario. Continuing our looks through the world of Pixel Pals, we're having a look through the world of Super Mario as we have a look at Mario here. Let's go ahead and take the tape measure to figure out how tall Mario stands. It would be safe to say that the Pixel Pal here stands roughly six inches in height. You can probably see that I have a soft spot for the Mario characters, or at least really the video game inspired characters here, Pixel Pals. Sure, of course, we will be looking at the other characters as well, but I really am digging the Mario stuff. And I think up to the point that we're shooting this, or you, I'm shooting this review, you guys are watching this review, I don't think we actually have yet a Super Mario Brothers 2 Mario, which would be kind of fun to get as well. But here we have Super Mario World Mario, and, uh, He's got his two fingers up. I think he's got his two fingers up, and uh, it looks really cool, actually. I've got, already gone ahead and put in the batteries. It does not come with batteries at the time that you get the Pixel Pals, but rest assured, it only takes two AAA batteries, so it's not overly... It's not going to break the bank, certainly, if you uh, get a pack of AAA batteries and uh, put them inside the Pixel Pal. The off and on switch are at the top, uh, something I did mention, I think, with the Mega Man review. It would be nice if they had put like a little hook loop here or a hole in the top where you could have mounted these onto a wall. I think that could have really helped to uh, add a further level of, uh, you know, displaying options, just shy of, of course, putting them all on a shelf. I think hanging them would have been fun as well. Anyways, though, your on and off switch are on the back, so that's what it looks like off. And if I can actually find it, there's the switch. There's what it looks like on and off and and here we go and on let's have a look at what it looks like in the dark and for that we're going to have to go ahead and cut the lights and with the lights turned off once again you see how vibrantly bright these pixel pals come across all the colors on mario represented in the blues the yellows and the reds are very brightly projecting from the pixel pal here um, it is certainly bright, as I've mentioned in previous reviews, that if you really had enough of these on a wall, it'd be neat to kind of dim the lights in your gaming room and just have the projection of the of the Pixel Pals kind of illuminating the room, because they actually are quite bright. Now, no pun intended, but the batteries, of course, if you are somebody that doesn't like using batteries because they are draining your expenses, you can also opt to use a... Uh, let me just bring in here the standard USB adapter for Pixel Pals. And so what you would need to do, you can pick these up standalone. And when you open it up, it comes with your battery pack. And it comes with also a micro USB. Uh, micro USB, also a good way because you pretty much can find micro USBs for everything. Every device uses micro USBs for the most part. And uh, it simply would just plug into the top and you would just plug this into either a USB enabled device, or if you also had the adapter plug, which would be pretty easy to come by as well, just plug that into that, plug it into the wall, and then you would always have ongoing power without having to use the batteries. To show you how that works, while I don't necessarily have a plug with me right now, I can go ahead and pull the, these out, and the battery pack, pull that out, would simply slide in right where the batteries used to be. And uh, it does seem from my plugging these in, I, I at one point charged this thinking that it was gonna be a standalone battery pack, but it does in fact require you to always have these plugged in in order to get the juice going to the Pixel Pal. Something else they could work on for an actual storage charging battery pack. So you could charge this say overnight and leave this to good, uh, you know, good to go. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Like I left this on I left this plugged in overnight, thinking that it would have been charging up. It's not actually that sort of battery pack. It would just be something that would still require you to have it plugged in all the time in order to get the the lights to continuing uh, to continue to uh, to light up here. In between takes, I went ahead and ran upstairs. I got myself a, a little plug adapter. Still uses micro USB. Just going to plug it into my power bar down below. And let's go ahead and switch it on. And you can see there is the uh, the Pixel Pal now illuminated. 
being supplied by a power supply. Uh, this would be an ideal situation in which, well, for example, where I pick these up, where a lot of the Pixel Pals I've been kind of getting here and there from, uh, the comic book store has theirs all plugged in, so they don't have to worry about using battery power all the time. And uh, you can also do this around your house too, just simply plug it in. You don't have to worry about the batteries draining and then having to replace them. Super Mario World is one of my all-time favorite Super Mario games, so getting this guy in Pixel Pal form is really super cool. Again, he's got really nice, splendid color. He's got some additional color palettes to him that the original Mario simply just didn't have, and I really think he's got a good pose going on for him. Maybe eventually what we may get ourselves is like a Yoshi, and maybe some of the other characters that inhabited Super Mario World as well. You can find Pixel Pals in many different stores, ranging from video game stores to some comic book stores. That's actually where I've been finding a lot of Pixel Pals is from my local comic book store. But they are readily available for fans that want to be picking these up. One thing I will say, though, is that it seems like a lot of the Pixel Pals, the older generation Pixel Pals, are a little harder to come by and therefore are a little bit more expensive if you want to find them in the aftermarket. So if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, uh, do not wait as again, like the value, much like any of the other collectibles that you can find in comic book stores. Once they run out, then you're at the mercy of paying the, the extra cost to people that you're buying these online from like eBay and, and whatnot. Super Mario World Mario, again, is one of my all-time favorite Mario games. Love the fact that Pixel Pals gave us a Pixel Pal treatment of little Mario here. And maybe we can branch ourselves off, maybe eventually get ourselves like a Yoshi. Maybe even a King Koopa would be also pretty cool. Um, again, like the sky's the limit when it comes to these Pixel Pals. Of course, they are doing different uh, comic books, uh, comic book characters. You know, some of the DC characters and stuff like that we will be looking at. But I think my all-time favorite stuff has to be like the old 8-bit games. That's, I think, really where a lot of old-time collectors like myself, yes, I said old, I think a lot of us will probably gravitate a little bit more towards the video game themed characters. So if they can continue to do stuff like that, maybe like Castlevania, uh, Punch-Out would be also a fun w uh, release of characters. Again, the sky's the limit. It's all a matter of what Pixel Pals can actually get the licensing for. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get a whole ton of these different characters from different video games and of course the other comic book uh, characters as well. Today, though, we were having a look at the Pixel Pals. This was Pixel Pal number 20, and Super Mario World's Mario was the one we were looking at today. If you guys want to check out some more Pixel Pal reviews, don't blame you. There's a playlist on this channel that you can go to and have a look at everything I've covered so far in the realm of Pixel Pals. If you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so, as, of course, more videos will be coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.